Hey guys, good afternoon. So in today's video, I'm going to share you about my CFO experience or yung GCP training, guidance and counseling program offered by Commission of Filipino Overseas. Ito po yung reason kung bakit po ako na offload sa immigration last time kasi wala po akong CFO sticker. So here are some tips and requirements at CFO training. Paano ka nga ba makakakuha ng CFO sticker or ng CFO certificate? So first, mag-register ka po online sa CFO website. So ilalagay ko po yung link sa description kung saan po kayo makakapag-register online based kung saan pong location nyo gustong mag seminar. So, yung CFO is meron po silang apat na location office. Meron po sa Manila, nasa Paco, nasa Clark, sa Cebu, at sa Davao. Please arrive to the CFO office one hour prior to your training because you need to fill up the guidance and counseling form and you need to take pictures for your certificate later on. So, ano po yung mga requirements? First requirements you need to bring is original passport kasi dito po nila stamp yung CFO sticker sa harap ng inyong passport. Is two valid IDs. In my case, I bring my SSS and my voter's ID. Pero to make sure, dalhin nyo na po lahat ng mga valid IDs ninyo. Next requirement is yung duly accomplished GCP form. Ito po yung form na fill up ninyo once nandun na po kayo sa CFO room. Next is, if you are married, bring your marriage contract um, authenticated from PSA. Kung kinasal po kayo sa Pilipinas, kung kinasal po kayo abroad, bring your original report of marriage authenticated by the Philippines Embassy kung saan po kayong bansa kinasal. Next requirements is payment of 400 pesos for guidance and counseling fee. Yes, hindi po free ang training na ito. Yung free lang po is yung mag-register ka ng slot mo online. Minsan, meron po mga additional documents na nare-require yung CFO officer during the interview. So, in some cases, if previously married, you might require you to bring your divorce decree, exist annulment paper, proof of residency of foreign spouse, proof of relationship, ito po yung pictures niyo together. So, in my case, I bring our pictures together with date and places that we've visited together. So, next is that certificate if your partner is widow or widower. Next additional documents is certificate of family registration for foreign spouse. This is most likely for um, spouses in Japan. After the training, they're going to interview each one of you, one-on-one -on -one interview to guidance counselor officer. So, yung interview sa akin is ilang years na kayo, tapos do you have pictures together? Do you have Senomar? Did he visit you here in the Philippines? How long? Sinabi ko na pumunta po siya ng Pilipinas last December and I went to Japan last April. Next, tinanong din po niya ako ano po yung communication namin. So, sinabi ko through Skype and emails. Tinanong din po ako ng do you have any communications with his relatives? And I answered, yes. Nag-uusap po kami ng parents niya sa Skype during the CFO seminar, guys. Binigyan po kami ng dalawang booklet. Tapos yung isang booklet ay naglalaman po ng mga embassy, Philippine embassy hotlines sa USA. Kung halimbawa, kung just in case, unfortunately, meron pong misunderstanding or hindi po na work out yung marriage ninyo, meron pong nangyayaring domestic violence, and human trafficking you have that phone numbers of philippine embassies nearest to you so make sure na dala mo po yung booklet na yun just in case there's some unfortunate incidents na hindi naman natin po gustong mangyari so, pinapaalala po ng CFO counselor is are you really prepared um to marry someone na hindi kayo lumaki sa, is sa isang bansa you have different culture, different weather, and different traditions. And like for example, malamig doon, kaya mo ba yung lamig ng snow? <laughs> Kasi sa Pilipinas, mainit po tayo dito, very humid po yung weather. 
at sa US is malamig daw. Hindi ko pa alam, di ba kung nakakita ng mga dito sa Pilipinas. Kapag naliligo po tayo, we use tabo doon sa America, shower. So, walang tabo doon. Ganyan. The food. Kaya mo bang kumain ng walang rice? Kasi sa US, they all eat mostly burgers and fries. So, I'm not sure, pero ang gawin mo kapag hindi po nag-workout yung marriage niyo during the 90 days visa, especially yung mga K-1 visa, uuwi ka ba ng Pilipinas, ganyan-ganyan. Paano kapag, paano kapag minaltrato ka ng asawa mo, anong gagawin mo, uh, paano kapag they just married you, kasi isasangla ka niya sa isang dayuhan din, mga Mga ganong tanong. What if your husband is going to um, give you emotional abuse, physical abuse? Saan ka pupunta? Anong numbers yung tatawagan mo? So, andun po lahat yan sa seminar. One important thing, guys, is huwag po muna kayong mag-book ng ticket ninyo kapag hindi pa po kayo nakakuha ng CFO sticker or seminar kasi mayroong cases na nadi-disapprove ng CFO. So, sayang lang po yung pera. So, make sure na ikikip nyo po itong CFO certificate ninyo at have photocopies of it because every time nalalabas po kayo ng bansa, hahanapin po ito ng immigration officer. My